to do is get the object up off the just a little bit off the base now some of it might be touching on the bottom of the tank but I'm not too concerned I do want to make sure that the whole the object is in the tank though so I wrap the cable around the piece of wood right because I don't want it to drop into the tank and then I'm gonna oh right so one thing you don't want to do is stick your hand in the sodium hydroxide people frown upon that sort of thing twice Twice, because it burns. Okay, so the next step is going to be to hook the plus to the tank. Uh, two percent. A two percent solution, and now we have the negative connector from the rectifier that we are going to connect to the artifact. I want the two to, to make contact, right? I don't want to touch the other plate. And I turn on the machine. The power is on, and I will now increase the ampage and hopefully we'll start to see some bubbles forming. There they go. So that's at about uh, four amps. So I'll ramp it down just a bit. Cool. So we're running at about uh, three amps. Stainless steel plate. Sodium hydroxide. Copper wire. Ferrous based object, hydrogen gas being produced at the uh, cathode, cathode, at the cathodic site of the artifact. And that's it. It's like magic, really. It is like magic. What you don't want to do though is keep your face over top of the tank, because hydrogen gas is coming up. And also what I learned today through some research is that chromium gas is being produced as well. Chromium oxide, which is... Damage to the front of the room? <laughs> can cause uh, one thing. 